this is what happened, but you weren't here, so you missed it. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Bienvenue. Shani, where are you going? Haircut. Yeah, you need one desperately, son. I don't know if I can do it with those pants. He looks like... Yeah, those aren't good pants. Sean, make sure your pants don't fall down. <laughs> no, good. Change his pants. Sean's going for a haircut. Um, Kristen's freaking out because she's getting sick. She doesn't feel so good. I'm, I think I finally um, have hit the turning point in my sickness. Um, after I had that soup yesterday, I felt a lot better, so. I should have made, you want soup for lunch? Maybe. Want some soup? I'll make you some nice hot noodle soup or something like that. You know, I don't want that because I need protein. I will put, I'll get the soup that has meat in it. I have cans of soup downstairs. I'll just put some noodles in with them. All right? Believe me, you were not sick like I was sick yesterday. I'm not complaining I'm sick. I'm just saying my sinuses are making me feel dizzy. What'd you take? Nothing. Bingo! Why didn't you I take something? Because I can, and I didn't know if you could take it at the same time. Yeah, you can. Shawnee, you better come back all beautified with a nice haircut, okay? You hold still so the lady can do your haircut. Yeah, he's going to be a hot little boy, big boy. Sean, come on, let's go. Soup delivery, soup delivery, soup delivery. Guess what? It's extremely hot. Don't touch it. That means don't touch it. It's extremely hot. That's why the bowl is underneath. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> what are you doing? Giving you a tip. Uh, thank you. Will I be did enough. say thank you. I didn't hear you. Didn't Should I play back up. the tape? All right, let's see. All right, let's tie up some loose ends here. Somebody got a haircut. Nice haircut. Yes. <laughs> you say thank you, not thank yes. You. Uh, uh, that's the second time I bumped into that. The first time all of the water bottles went flying. All right, I'm soaking my nuts over here because when we get back from the store, I'm going to make some vegan cream cheese, which I didn't realize has to sit for 24 to 48 hours. You only have to soak the nuts for three hours. What's the dinner? Whatever we can find, Sean, that's cheap. Cheap. Yeah, cheap stuff, right? What is the dinner? Cheap stuff. What's the cheap? You're not. I don't know, Sean. We have to see what the store has. Sean's like paging through the Veg News magazine. Do you like that? Sean, this is the menu. Pick what you want for what dinner. What a caprese sandwich. Sean, pick what you want for dinner. This is the menu. You can have anything no, vegan you want. <laughs> What's the cheap? Cheap? I don't know. We have to see what they have at the store that's cheap. Here, Sean. This is the uh, menu. Do you know what cheap means? Not expensive. This is the menu. We're going to the... Johnny, look, do you want... The... La, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget how to speak? No. Oh! <laughs> All right. Um, you want grilled cheese for dinner? Yes. No. <laughs> I hate... You want shrimp? Cheese. It's all greasy and gross. I hate shrimp. <laughs> You're the perfect candidate to be a vegan, then. Yet you fight me. I want my cheese, but I don't like it. <laughs> so. Yeah, exactly. What does you like? Guys, I really hope I'm not getting the stomach virus. And you just got all up in my grill? She thinks she may be getting the stomach virus, and she just... Right in my face. It's not out of nowhere. So one of my students said they were recovering from it the other day, but they still felt nauseous. And I'm like, great! One of my students had anal leakage, and... <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't say that. I'm just kidding! God, grow a sense of humor. Ooh, lobster roll. Ooh, what's that? Everything in this magazine <laughs> is amazing. Except for Amazing. the cheese, right? You're gonna love vegan cheese because I guarantee mustard you it's not chicken. greasy. Granny would eat that in a heartbeat. Granny drinks mustard. 
All of this looks lovely. Oh my gosh. Who's making it? That looks so dry. I'm sorry. No, that looks like a gyro. That's why I'm in love with it. No, looks can be deceiving. <laughs> All right, I don't have time for this. We gotta go to the store. I don't know. My camera was like, change the battery pack, and then it was like fully charged. Just like a bad contact. Maybe. But someone's playing with their flashlight, and they put it away very discreetly, very quickly, because yeah. they knew they were in trouble. I don't know who it was. <laughs> yeah, it was you. Cute. Hey guys, so made it back from the store. We didn't get all that much stuff. Um, Mark got some bleach for the pool cover. <laughs> uh, let's begin. Alright, so the Mary's Gone Crackers were still on sale for $2.99, so I got the original ones this time. The black pepper ones are a little bit peppery, so if you know you don't like spicy, don't get the black pepper ones. The herb ones are really good. But they didn't have any more herb ones, so I just got the original. I hope they're good. Uh, tissues, because we freaking need them. We're all sick. <laughs> Sean must have went through half a box of tissues just today. Every time he turned around, he was sneezing, and he took a new tissue. So we got $4.99 for three boxes of the puffs with the lotion. I think that's phenomenal. I got the old big strainer to strain out the soy yogurt when I make my um, vegan cheese. I had it in the refrigerator in a uh, different type of strainer with the cheesecloth, but I don't think it's doing a good job because it's not like, it doesn't have like the mesh like this one, so I'm, I know this one will work. I hope I don't have to like re-drain it. These were a dollar each. I wasn't really thrilled with this, but I needed them. Uh, I've seen these more, you know, like 79 cents on sale, so it kind of pained me to have to spend 79. I had a coupon for the chili, a dollar off on two, so I got four of those. Ah, oh, this was on sale. I absolutely love the maple pumpkin of the Glade um, fall ones. So good. I could just drink it. <laughs> All right, Mark got the devil sour cream because he don't really want to be vegan as much as I do. Any little bit that I could help him be more vegan is okay, but I'm not going to force him or Kristen or Sean to be um, vegan gluten free. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to succeed, but I'm going to do as the best that I can do, which is all I could do anyway, so... <laughs> Pardon me while I hack up a lung. Uh, more golden spurtle, baby. Mark wanted it because it was on sale. Oh my god, did I just not rock it? I hope not. Two forty nine. The guy at church told me to get red peppers, so I did. <coughs> Sick. Ugh. Sean, what's that? Donut. Donut. Sean was just like touching the donuts like this. Is this real life? Are these really donuts? Yes, we got gluten donuts, Sean. It's okay, though. It was a weak moment. It's a weekend. It's cheat time. <coughs> I'm still coughing like a crazy person. Eggplant to Parmesan. So I had to get Italy's favorite coffee, La Vaza. What do you think about that? I don't. <coughs> Not a I'm coughing up a lung, honey. Oh my. Mini potato patties. The meteors tonight. <coughs> will, we be, will we be watching the meteors? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I have I have no, um, like... It's clear. Is it? That's good. I have, like, no voice left, and I'm certainly not going to have much left after blog TV either. These were 99, and we don't have room in the freezer, but we're going to eat these tonight. Eat them. That's right. Devil's Donuts that Sean was already poking at. Uh, n right next to the country white sourdough. Another devil's little treat here. I didn't have time to bake. And chicken breast strips, because you're evil. Now we must <laughs> suffer with gluten <coughs> because of you. I'm sick. Guess what you're going to do right now? No. No. You're going to help me make the vegan cream cheese. You're going to help me cipher out what seasonings to put in it to make it like Borsan. Oh, yeah. You're going to do it. 
Yeah, we're gonna eat now. Girl who just sits in front of the computer all day and demands food and attention. Oh yeah. All right, guys. You know what time it is. It's time to make the vegan cheese. So I've got my food processor out, and in here I have half of a cup of soy yogurt, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. In here I've got two cups of cashews that have been soaking and drained. They were soaking for three hours, and I'm going to pour them in there completely. <laughs> okay. And for seasoning, I'm going to use some Oh My Garlic Italian, a little bit. And I'm going to put that in the food pro you know, mix it all up, and then we're going to put it in a bowl. Alright, so I ran it through about four times, you know, like I blended it, scraped down the sides, blended it, scraped down the sides, like a total of four times so that it, all of the nuts got ground up, and it looks pretty creamy. It smells amazingly like cream cheese. It's weird how cashew nuts can smell like cream cheese. I guess because the soy yogurt is probably making it smell that way too, but... Now this is the hard to wait part. You have to put it in a bowl and let it sit at room temperature for 24 to 48 hours until it gets as tangy as you like. That's really weird. I feel kind of weird about leaving it out at room temperature, but that's what it said to do. I, we'll see what happens. I ah, oh, the first tasty taster has arrived, and here comes the second one. We're, they're tasting it on a Mary's Gone Crackers. What do you think? Is it good? There you go. Yeah, can we eat now? <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna let that age for like a little bit. Maybe it'll get even better. I haven't tried it yet. Can I have a little piece? Mm, um. Good. Kristen actually asked for seconds. It's got to be pretty good. It's going to be aging. Let's eat it now. No, it's going to be even better after it ages. It's going to get tangier. You could even make vegan like faux lox. Cream cheese and lox. Mm. So, that's exciting. If this is that good, you know the mozzarella is going to be good too. Do I? Oh, you do. Do I really? Don't you? Alright, so it's cheat time! <laughs> gluten, gluten, and more gluten, and you're having meat. Um, let me, tell me how those mushrooms are. They look amazing, by the way, from Trader Joe's. They look really good. Good stuff. It's really hot, though, so please be careful. I already snuck a piece of the sourdough. So good. <laughs> Yeah? It's a winner. Here's Sean's plate for starters, so. I can't wait for dessert. <sighs> jelly donut. Honey, my sister told me how to make the perfect jelly donut. Yeah. You put it in the toaster oven so that it's just slightly warm, and you drink it with an amazing cup of coffee. I mean, you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> you drink an amazing cup of coffee with it while you eat it. Good stuff, right? Yeah. All right, guys. It's dessert time. I just finished blog TV. I'm going to eat this donut honey boo-boo style. I'm going to serve it up in a trough. <laughs> That's just for you, Hanley. All right, so I have a perfect jelly donut in there. So now this was told to me by my sister, Stock Wizard. The correct way to eat a jelly donut is you take the jelly donut, Oh, I hope this is jelly and not cream. I don't even know. How do you tell? Well, anyway, I hope it's not cream. But you put it right in the toaster, like that, and you toast it. So I'm gonna put that on for like two minutes. Actually, it's four minutes. And we'll check back when that's ready to come out. All right. I wish you guys could smell this because it is amazing! Perfectly toasted. The sugar on the top has just like started to crust up a little bit. I never would have even thought 
of toasting a donut until my sister said, hey, just put it in the toaster. It's amazing. She was right. So let's hope that this is jelly and not cream. But you know what? It wouldn't be a big deal if it was. Guess what, kids? It's cream. <laughs> well, I'm sure it'll be fabulous. Anyway, I'm giving you a little quick review on this. Lavaza. Is Lava Aza? <laughs> it is Italy's favorite coffee, and it's one of mine too right now. I've been drinking it the whole blog TV. Smooth as silk, baby. So good. And it's I got Cafe Espresso, not the um, like everyday blend. The espresso, it's good stuff. So make sure you check it out. And it's cheap. It's cheap as chips. Usually cheap coffee tastes like cheap coffee. But this tastes really good. I'm going to be looking for this again. On sale, of course. Alright, I'm going to enjoy my non-jelly donut. <laughs> but it is perfectly toasted. So, till next time. Much love.